In this vlog, part five of Inlay Lake, I'll be talking about the Jumping Cat Monastery and floating gardens, as well as long-necked women. Beautiful. you know where the produce comes from in the markets. <laughs> Sightseeing on any lake from one destination to the other is always highlighted by a ride in one of these long-tailed boats. And believe me, there are thousands of them around the lake. It's the only way, really, of uh, transportation on Inlay Lake. And our next destination has a rather catchy moniker, the Jumping Cat Monastery. Let's have a look. Meow. Let's have a look. Meow. Notice on the boat the long steel rod with a propeller attached to it. That's what gives them the name long tail boat. That propeller is flipped over into the water and it allows the boat to be operating in shallow waters, giving the boat the appearance of a long tail. That's not a cat's tail, boat tail. Life on the river. What's that? Plant life. Plant life. Look at this. Oh, is it pretty? Is it pretty? Is this what they call the floating garden? I don't think so. Oh, monastery first. Monastery. Yes, we're at the famous Na Fei Chong Monastery, formerly known as the Jumping Cat Monastery, but they should not be using that name anymore, as I shall explain. Okay. There's big, and there's big, and there's big. And then there's this monastery. Doesn't really look like a monastery. But it is massive teak wood. Maybe not. And as the monk turns on the lights, that's his daily job turn on the lights. Look at the massive spacer. Isn't that nice? Yeah. It's beautiful, eh? Yeah, yeah. So perfect, eh? I'd sure like to know how many Buddhist figures there are in Myanmar. I think it would be stunning. And it turns out in this pagoda alone, there are 64 golden Buddhas. Beautiful. Maybe as many as there are people here. And there, for the first time on video, appears a cat. Did I make a big deal of it? No, I didn't, because I didn't know this was the Jumping Cat Pagoda. Oh my God. And as the monk turns on the lights. It turns out there was a correlation between the monks and the cats. But let's let the cat out of the bag. There are no more jumping cats here at the Jumping Cats Monastery. It's history. The cats used to jump through hoops, but with too many tourists coming in, the kitties became exhausted from the shows, which led the monks to uh, stop the shows. But boy, oh boy, their life must have... Uh, 
gone back to a monk's life. After having cats jump through hoops for 20 years. Many of us haven't done that. Jump through hoops for 20 years. By the way, 15 cats used to live here, and now there are, well, I, I don't know, there's still some there. Even the cats are fed here. Look at that. Oh, I love the colors here, the life jackets. The legend of the first jumping cat is tied to a monk who was meditating and a cat curled up in his lap. He tried to get rid of it and the cat jumped high into the air. And that's how the jumping cat monastery got started. Of course, the monks felt that the cats must have created good karma in their past lives to have the good fortune of living among them and entertaining the monks as well. But like I say, no more. That's too bad. Look at this beauty. Where can you find this other than in Miramar? And just past the brilliant colors of the boats, the open water, and uh, by the house with the red roof gardens. Right there. Might call them floating gardens. Not sure, but they're gardens in the water. <coughs> How neat is that? Massive mountains in the background. Pretty place to live. Don't see a for sale sign on it though. Okay. The gardens. Some of the stuff must come from, from the markets. Yeah. Right? That they sell in the market. Did you hear that word, hyacinth? The farmers gather clumps of water, hyacinth, and other lake debris into rows. Then they secure these to the lake bottom with bamboo poles. They also pour mud from the lake as fertilizer. Then they grow their produce on these beds. Oh my god, this is amazing. Look at those. Look at the tomatoes. Oh my goodness. Yeah, can see a few ones on there. Beautiful. Yeah. Just goes on and on. Now you know where the produce comes from in the markets. That's... How do you pick those in that water, right? That's a challenge. Surprising is the variety that is available here. Potato. Yes. A much better selection than we have seen anywhere else. And, uh, I hesitate to say that all of this has been brought in by boat. Doesn't seem possible. But I'll stick to that story. Yes, Inlay Lake is renowned for the long-tailed boats, but there are also long-necked women from a certain tribe that, as a tourist, you just gotta see them. The people they come from in Kia State. Mm -hmm. Now they some of the people they move in, in Thailand. Some people they come here along the lake because of they made their weaving, their mm -hmm. job. The Padong people, commonly referred to as the Kayan or Karen people, are predominantly from Kaya State but are a tourist attraction in the Inlay Lake area. Nine years, Nine years yeah. And then after 90 years, the small and big changing. Yes, yes. And then after the 25 years and the total finish, mm -hmm. Miss Man round about the 25 oh, no. ring. They said the production mm -hmm. for tiger, uh, so round about the 8 kilograms and 9 kilograms. They never take off the whole life they wear it. Oh, my. It's protection. Oh. Yeah, it's protection tigers, for tiger. Yeah, they they oh, never take goodness. out. Yeah. Apparently, the neck itself does not stretch. The rings force down the shoulders giving that stretched neck appearance.
Yes. Now a day, young generation not wearing no, because of the education in higher yes. and the sun go. As you heard, mercifully, the younger generation has been liberated and no longer wears these uh, rings around their neck. No, obviously we did not buy one of the rings as a souvenir, and why would you? It seems like a... I don't know how to describe this, but it doesn't seem right. Join us next Friday for installment number six of In the Lake, which will be the last installment of In the Lake and Myanmar. Special thanks to the few of you that have viewed this video to the end, and uh, a thumbs up would be appreciated. Thank you.